specificity is calculated by dividing the number of true negatives by the total number of people without the condition. To help us understand this equation, we are going to imagine that a group of people are being tested for a disease. The red squares represent people with it, and the white squares represent people without it. Since specificity only takes into consideration people without the condition, we are going to focus on the white squares. This yellow line represents a cutoff level for a test. To the left of the line, the test returns negative, and to the right, it returns positive. Now let's shift our focus to the sample table in the top right corner. When calculating specificity, we only need to use the column on the right. This column is used for people who do not have the condition. In the top box, we have the false positives, in the middle box, the true negatives, and on the bottom, the total number of people without the condition. Counting the squares, we find that there are 8 false positives, 90 true negatives, and 98 people in total without the disease. Now all that remains is to enter the data into the equation. In doing so, we find that the specificity is 90 over 98, which is 92%. Shifting the cutoff level for a positive test towards the left, that is, closer towards the normal value, increases the number of false positives which means that the condition would be detected in a greater percentage of patients that do not have it, and thus the specificity of the test would be lower. And conversely, shifting the cutoff level for a positive test away from the normal value would increase the number of true negatives, and thus the specificity of the test would increase. So once more, specificity is calculated by dividing the number of true negatives by the total number of people without the disease.